And now it's time to welcome our final guest, Nathan Cox. He's co-founder of Retirement Income Solutions, a retirement income store located just outside of Nashville. Nathan, thanks so much for being back with us here on the Income Generation. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. So, Nathan, one thing I often find is that people don't realize the importance and magnitude of what certain risks are that they're usually taking. And it might be because of their current advisor, or maybe they don't understand and have all the relevant facts. But do you ever run into this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think the, the financial services industry as a, as a whole does a, a, a pretty poor job of explaining risk tolerance levels. And I think a lot of people really don't understand truly what type of risk that they're, what, what risk they have in their portfolios. So what do you think then the most important thing is you think people should know about understanding risk tolerance? The most important thing. Okay. I, I think that uh, the most important thing for people to realize is that everyone is very unique. Everyone has their, their own unique fact patterns when it comes to risk tolerance levels. You know, what your, what your coworker, the amount of risk your coworker has in their portfolio, or maybe a friend or family member, uh, really doesn't have that much bearing on, on your risk tolerance level. I think people need to understand that, that they're unique. They have different unique fact patterns and, and their risk tolerance levels may be completely different than others that they know. Sure. So what you're saying then is your, your risk tolerance will be adjusted and or change as you get older or maybe closer to retirement. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And it, it depends on, on, on many other factors, such as, uh, you know, how much income you need in retirement and, and where, where your income sources, where's that income going to come from? You know, Nathan, it's funny. We had uh, James Locke on, whom you know, just a while ago, and I asked him this question. I've got to ask you the same question. When someone first comes to you, um, out of every 10 people, how many of them would you say come into your office when they first meet you with an allocation that actually matches their risk tolerance level? Uh, very rarely. I, I think I find more often than not that people come in and they really don't understand. I, I really firmly believe that people understand that they're taking some level of risk for the most part, but they don't really understand what risk level they're actually in hmm. uh, because they, they really don't know what they have it, you know, in a lot of cases. So are most people too conservative relative to the risk tolerance level or are most people too aggressive, taking too much risk and maybe they don't realize it? I think most people are too aggressive and they don't realize it, but it seems to be the, the two extremes. You know, a lot of people are, are uh, they, they tend to go to extremes. They're either, you know, way too conservative. Uh, the, those, the number of people that are in that bucket are, are usually a lot fewer, but most people are taking way more risks than they actually know that they're taking. Or you get the other ones, which are my personal favorite, who are half and half, right? They have half their portfolio in risky growth stocks, half their portfolio is sitting in bank CDs. And it's almost as if there's two buckets of water here. One's boiling hot, one's ice cold. You put your one foot in one, the other foot in the other, and it's almost like they're trying to convince themselves they're okay. And, and as you know, as, as someone who I consider to be an expert at determining risk tolerance and appropriate allocation, um, it just doesn't work that way. So Nathan, Thanks so much for being back with us here on the Income Generation. Thank you for having me.